Okay, time for a video blog. I did this one a couple days ago, but then I, uh, yeah, I forgot to put the memory card back in the camera, so I got like 45 seconds of my blog, and that was it. I was so pissed I didn't want to do it again. So now I'm doing it. Uh, I was just vlogging a couple of things, two extra days. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, let's see. Um, my tips last week, work was kind of slow last week. I only had one awesome day. The other days are okay. Uh, I finally got my car fixed. It cost like 320 bucks or something. I can't remember now. It was over 300. I think it was 340 counting the windshield wipers I had to buy. So yeah, whatever. And then uh, Monday, I, I slept really late on Monday. Got up, went to the movies. Uh, I had to run a couple. Well, no, I think I had to run like one little errand. And then I'm like, screw this. And then I decided to go see a movie. And I seen the movie Push. Okay, this is a pretty good movie. They got Jedi abilities in this movie. It's funny, man. They take a movie and they pick a part of Jedi. Like a Jedi has got all kinds of abilities. You know, they can push stuff. They can uh, influence people's thoughts. Uh, some of them have visions of see the future. You know, they ha they can do all kinds of stuff. Well, this movie is basically like a bunch of people that can. Some of them can move things, some of them can like read minds, some of them can, uh, you know, see visions, everything. Okay, Push. Awesome movie. It's got, uh, Camilla Bell in it. Woo-wee! Hot. But, I mean, she's hot, but she's also, like, cute hot. See, there's, see, okay, there's cute and adorable, right? Which is like the girl you like to bring home to show your parents, the girl next door, the innocent girl, the uh, just just adorable, you know, someone you just want to run up and hug, you know. And then there is hot, like sexy, banging hot. And these are girls that you don't really want a relationship with, but they just be badass to bang, you know what I mean? You know, you don't, that's all, that's, you know, and then you want to go brag to all your buddies, you know, you tell them everything, you know, about hey, we did this, this, and this. You know, the cute, adorable girl next door, kind of pretty, beautiful girl. You might not tell your buddies about everything. You'd be like, oh, yeah, you know, we did something, blah, blah. but you don't get the details because you have much more respect for them. I know that's not she should have respect for both, but, hey, you know, this is the real world, and that's not the way things work in the real war world. <laughs> anyway, uh, push. Okay, it's got Camilla Bell in it, okay, and... That she she just she's beautiful, okay. She's like cute, adorable, pretty, okay. And then you got uh, Chris Evans. Uh, I think that's who. It is. I think it's the guy from uh, uh, Fantastic Four. You know the Torch, that guy, okay. And then of course it's got Dakota Fanning. Remember the little cute Dakota Fanning? Well, she's a little older. She's still way young. You know, I guess if you're like 12 or 13, you know, you might think, wow, she's cute. But, you know, she's just adorable. She's cute. And uh, she's a child cute kind of way. Not like take home to your mom kind of. Yeah, you know what I mean. Um, Neil Jackson's in it. Uh, Cliff Curtis. Joel Gretz. And Maggie Siff. Okay? Whatever. I don't know who them people are. Okay. PG-13. Good movie. You know? It's just, it's good. A lot of, you know, action and stuff. After that, though... I, I decided to stick around and watch another movie. I wasn't going to watch this one, but everything else started like 45 minutes. I didn't wait that long. This one start, was starting in like 10 minutes. So I'm like, this is me. This is awesome, okay? Actually, it was like 15 minutes. And the only reason I watched is because I was looking at my phone. I'm looking at all the people in it. I'm like, damn, there's a lot of good people in this movie. So I'm going to watch it. It's called, uh, He's Just Not That Indie. It's PG-13. It was like 2 hours and 10 minutes. This was a long movie. It, you know what? Turns out it was kind of a chick flick, but it was very good and very funny. Secret. I kind of like some of the chick flicks. I ain't going to lie to you. I'm keeping it real. Keeping it real. But check out the people that's in this movie. I am not bullcrapping you folks. Um, ben Affleck. Jennifer Aniston. She used to be sexy banging. She's getting a little older, so now she's like, just, she's just pretty, okay? Scarlett Johansson, oh, bangable, buddy. Just, damn, you look at her, 
and you're just like, wow, I'd like to do things to you. That kind of hot. Okay, Jennifer Connelly. See, sometimes she's hot, sometimes I'm like, yeah, she's just cute. You know, so I'm a little in between there, but she's definitely worth looking at. Pretty. I sound like such a pig, don't I? I oh, know, whatever. I'm a guy, I'm, but I'm, at least I'm being honest. Okay, this is my favorite person in the movie. Jennifer Goodwin, the chick from Big Love. The chick. The girl from Big Love, the youngest wife. Uh, awesome show, Big Love. Anyway, she plays this. And Jennifer Goodwin, she is the epitome to me of, like, pretty, cute, adorable. She, she just want to hug her and cuddle with her kind of person, you know? That's what, you know, you want to do. You go see movies. Go out to dinner with. I mean, yeah, sure. Sleep with her. That'd be awesome, but... Everything else would just be so cool. Anyway, so Jennifer Goodwin, awesome. Justin Long, uh-huh. I think she's going out with Drew Barrymore. She, he's going out with Drew Barrymore, but he's like the IBM guy, you know, the man guy. Him was in Die Hard, 50,000. Yeah, that guy. Um, Bradley Cooper, Kevin Connolly, Dizzy Phillips, uh, Wilson Cruz and Rod Keller, and Chris Christopherson was in it. Okay, uh, did I say Drew Barrymore? Yeah, Drew and Drew Barrymore's in there. I mean, come on, man. That's a kick-ass cast. All right. He's just not that much into it. And the reason I know this is Chick Flick, and I felt kind of weird, is I got in there for everybody else because I went from one to the next. Actually, it was like 15 minutes before the movie started. I'm sitting there. And as I'm sitting there, man, just people keep coming and coming and coming in. And I'm starting to notice something like, holy crap, this is all girls. I was like the only guy in there, man. There's like 40, 50 people in there. I was the only guy. Everybody's thinking, homo, homo. But hey, you know what? Screw them, okay? Because it was a funny movie. I really, really enjoyed it. I'd see it again. But, uh, so yeah, I did that. And then Tuesday we went, and uh, Tuesday night I went and watched, uh, I didn't watch, but I went and had dinner with my parents. Uh, my parents' anniversary is on Valentine's Day. I don't know. I guess Dad didn't want to ever forget when it was, and it's hard to forget Valentine's Day. Huh? I guess it's supposed to be romantic. You know, whatever. Maybe he just wanted, didn't want to have to buy two gifts. I don't know. <coughs> so, we went and had dinner at Longhorn. Uh, great place. Uh, let's see. Uh, I watched so much Kyle. See, I, okay, about three years ago, I watched this show. Because I watch anything sci-fi, because that's what I do. Sci-fi? I'm there. I'm down. I'm watching it. Okay? Because I'm just a nerd like that, all right? I'm a geek. Whatever. Don't like it? Tough shit. So anyway, I'm watching. So I watched the first season of Kyle X Y. I think they cancel it. Huh? No, they didn't. They put it from ABC to ABC Family. Okay, two totally different channels. So I thought it was off the air. It's like halfway into season three, so I missed all 23 episodes of season two. All right, and I missed all five episodes of season three. That's 28 episodes. And I kind of watched the last two episodes of season one just to kind of catch me up. And then I watched this, like, 20-minute thing online, just kind of a recap of all of season one. kind of watched this. Basically, I watched 30 episodes in three days. That's a lot of watching TV. And I had to watch them all on my laptop. Awesome, though, really. I had I couldn't find, like, ten episodes online. Because every other episode's on abcfamily.com or whatever. But there was like 10 episodes that didn't have on there. So I had to go to iTunes and buy those at $2 a pop. 20 freaking dollars, man. <sighs> whatever. You know, if it is, you know, so what? Who cares, okay? It's 20 bucks. Yeah, I don't have $20. Well, but what the hell? 